Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, I must apologize on behalf of my boss, His Excellency, Mr. President. Uh, he was held up, and uh, when he was going, he asked me to proceed and uh, represent him. Uh, hopefully, he will still be able to join us. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the speech I'm about to read are in the words of Mr. President. So any, uh, what was I going to say? Whenever I say I, I'm, the words coming out of my mouth are those of Mr. President and not mine personally. <laughs> Today, we are at the World Expo in Dubai, showcasing Nigeria amongst the world's best across all fields of endeavor. The signals we can begin to see is the emergence of our youth as the best in the world of creativity, culture, music, film, fashion, and technology. By the year 2050, Nigeria will be the third largest country by population in the world. Our challenge is thus to turn that challenge into a blessing for the people of Nigeria and the world. As president and father of the nation, I am here to tell the world that the foundations of the new Nigerian century has begun. We're here to sell our music, our film, our fashion, and our youth. We're here to tell the world that there is unity in our diversity and that our young people are working together to make the world a better place. In collaboration with the Nigerian Pavilion and the Federal Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment, the Arise Fashion 2021 is showcasing Nigerian fashion and music at this World Expo with fashion from around Nigeria. I'm here to support this initiative and celebrate all our young people around Nigeria and the world today. We are here to celebrate the best of Nigerian culture as we unleash the power of youth for a new positive image for Nigeria. That is why we call on all young people to be law abiding in whatever country they find themselves to seek the power of their creativity and hard work to make the world a better place. They must eschew violence, drugs, cultism, fraud, and other criminality, and use their God-given talent to build a new world order. At the same time, as a listening government, we will do all we can to ensure equity and justice for all Nigerians against all forms of brutality. Before our very eyes, a new Nigerian renaissance is emerging as we lay the foundations for the Nigerian century. My administration will do all it can to support our youth through education, sports and sciences as we create the enabling environment for a tech-driven, investment-led, telecommunications-enabled, creative economy and prepare our nation for the emerging new world. Dear friends, I'm very glad to be here to witness another landmark achievement for the country, the first Arise Fashion Week in Dubai, a city described as the jewel of the Middle East, where the best of Nigeria's fashion and entertainment have come out in full to celebrate, have come out in full force to celebrate our great country on this day that marks Nigeria's day at Dubai Expo 2020. There is no doubt that Nigeria's creative sector holds tremendous potential to unlock Nigeria's economy and increase employment opportunities for young people. The projections are promising as the sector is expected to be worth over 10 billion American dollars by the end of 2021, making a significant contribution to the nation's GDP. This is further underlined by a recent 2021 report on Nigeria's creative industry we showed that the industry is positioned as the second largest employer and has the potential to produce 2.7 million new jobs by 2025. That report went on to add that agriculture, the creative sector, that after agriculture, the creative sector is the second largest employer of labor in Nigeria today. The sector currently employs more than 4 million people. The marked explosion of Nigerian talent in the film and music industry 
in the film and music industry around the world fills me with pride. It demonstrates the great determination and natural talent that exists in the Nigerian polity. The Nigerian creative sector is a vibrant sector that is driven by young people. It has a growing global influence from film to music and fashion. It has the potential to become the hub for exporting Nigeria's culture. This growth is further propelled by advancements in technology, the fourth industrial revolution, increasing internet and mobile penetration, as well as urbanization presents a unique opportunity to revolutionize the creative sector and accelerate the industry's footprint on the global, sta on the on the global stage, such that in the wake of the pandemic, creative industries were able to take advantage of technology to transform ideas in new and exciting ways. A trillion naira of domestic investments was recorded in Nigeria's telecommunications industry between 2015 and the beginning of 2021. These investments saw expansion in the industry and deployment of 3G and 4G-based transceiver stations rose from 30,000 to 53,460, while fiber optic transmission cables expanded from 47,000 kilometers to 54,725 kilometers in the last five years, resulting in improved broadband and telecommunication service delivery. This result is an increase in broadband penetration from 6% in 2015 to 4507 percent as of November 2020. And now the road to 5G has begun. I urge the world to watch Nigeria as we rebuild and transform. <laughs> Through deliberate and sustained efforts in driving major initiatives, programs and necessary regulatory interventions, my administration has been able to deepen access to telecommunication services, voice and data across the country, which has helped in positively impacting key sectors of the economy, such as the creative industry, healthcare, education, agriculture, finance, and so on. Other initiatives include handing over the control of the National Theatre to the Central Bank of Nigeria and the Bankers Committee, who have committed to an investment of 25 billion naira as initial funding for the development of a creative hub at the National Theatre, Lagos. The Bank of Industry, in collaboration with the National Council for Arts and Culture, also has a 300 million naira loan package for the creative sector. The package provides the funds to the sector at single-digit interest rates with a tenor of four to five years. Nigeria is also set to host the United Nations World Tourism Organization Regional Conference in 2022. And the entertainment industry in Nigeria is a major factor for the country to be recognized globally, especially as a result of the recent Grammy Awards to Nigerian singers Damini Ebolua Ogulu, famously known as Burner Boy, and Ayodeji Balogu, also known as Whiskid. We salute all award-winning musicians bringing glory to Nigeria at the Grammys and other global events and urge them to continue to thrive. We salute our technology startups currently bringing huge investments to Nigeria and assure you all of the support of this administration through policy and action. Indeed, we are prepared to do much more to create the environment for Nigeria to produce more creative talents across the value chain. We are at the cusp of a revolution in entertainment production, creative talent and services, and my desire is to build a brighter future for coming generations. Today, as we mark Nigeria Day at the World Expo Dubai, the Arise Fashion Week is a great testament, showing the world how we as Nigerians are working hard and constantly innovating to improve the lives of our youth and our people, while opening up our economy and encouraging foreign investment to ensure economic growth and progress for all citizens. For the young people out, there, out here, I'm stopping by at this event while in Dubai to support you. Please continue to thrive and excel 
as a new Nigeria is emerging to the glory of us all and the, continu and the continuity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I congratulate the Arise Media Group, its chairman, Mr. Undukal Bagbena, and his team, and the Ministry of Trade, Industry, and Investment for this commendable display of the power of Nigeria's creative industry and our pride as a nation as we march forward to conquer the world with raw talent proudly made in Nigeria. Please continue to show the world that Nigeria's century is upon us. Signed, Muhammadu Buhari, President, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Dubai, UAE, 3rd of December, 2021. Thank you very much. <laughs>